Bombing, bomb throwing. Yep, we haven't really seen not yet any of these um, knockouts tonight that uh, that we experienced on the last century. Yeah, exactly. But maybe the time has come. It's both of these guys with something to prove. They've yeah. been here once before each, and both went away with a loss. With a loss, okay. Oh. So they're going to want to redeem themselves for sure. Yeah. Now, from the outset, mm -hmm. I'm going to say something that mm -hmm. niggles me. Mm -hmm. If you're fighting out of the red corner, don't wear blue shorts. <laughs> Good grief. Maybe he didn't know from the start. He, he brought only one pant. Well, okay. But that, you know, but it can confuse the judges. Yeah, it's true. So, nice low kicks there from Florent Ivanoi from but, Romania. But up to now, they're all checked. Oh, oh. oh, that hurt. It's a nice, careful, careful one. Again. And both these guys are very powerful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I still have to get used to the curve kicks. As uh, in my time, there was no curve kicks. Mm. But now Ooh, that is. was a shin to shin, though. Yeah. But it, it appears to mm -hmm. me, when, when people are throwing these, yeah. the, the lower limb yeah. kick, Mm -hmm. It's very dangerous to yourself. I think so too. I mean, if they would do it with me, there would be a big chance that would break their legs. Mm. But how are you going to check that? You got, you got to turn. Well, you twist your you twist your left your left foot a little bit. Yeah. And then and then you. But you, you want to check it with the thick it. part of your. But that's, shit. that's what you're going to do. That's mm. what you're going to do because with the thick part of your shin, you're going to you're going to check the low kick. Mm. That's what I would think, but apparently it works different. So. Well, I mean, it's, they're using it in, in uh, MMA now. Alex yeah. Pereira is, uh, is uh, yeah. oh. very successful with it. Oh. Now Looks the like Romanian in the corner. Yeah, he's, Big knee. He's rocked. And the Montenegrin fighter, Bujovic, here smells blood. Yeah. Oh, nice try. Push, a push and, a, and a high kick. And it's interesting when you see such big guys mm -hmm. <laughs> throwing these high kicks, they're spinning back fists. And Vujovic here, he's got, he's got the power advantage. Yeah. Looks like, uh, but when you're this big, you can run out of gas very quickly. That's the thing. Looks like Ifano if if I know I is uh, is still a little bit rocked, but he he keeps on fighting. But if if someone's just um, hesitant like that, mm -hmm. isn't that a time where you can just throw a jab out and and damage them with a low kick? For example, Those, they're the times. Yeah. To, oh, he's rocked. Good idea, yeah. They rock each other. Ivanovi is rocked. They rock each other all the time. Looks like that. Interesting. Well, yeah. he's on unsteady legs yeah, there he's in on the steady corner. Steady leg. So at the end of that. But looks like they both are. So <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Um, and fascinating when you've got two big guys yeah. who have still got the power to knock each other out. That's the thing. So you can't just be careless. No. Uh, and oh, go all oh, guns yeah. blazing. There was a right hand good, there that good shook right him. Hand, yeah. The spinning kick, spinning the uh, point was also. And that straight right, yeah. those replays are showing uh, yeah. the Montenegrin in, uh, in a highlight reel, really. So oh, it, it looks like he made the, the most clean hits. Yep. Yep, the more effective damage exactly. came from Miroslav Vojovic from Montenegro. Exactly. And. I still find it fascinating. The countries in this region, you know, Montenegro, it's got a population of about 620,000 people. Yeah. And, uh, but they produce some really, yeah, really they have tough the guys. Good fighters, yeah. You're always going to think, you're almost going to think if it's some Yugoslavian, a Yugoslavian thing or something. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Both of them, though, in the the throwing kicks. punishing kicks. Yeah. Yeah. 
and it's uh, it's interesting to watch sometimes. It's, these guys, they've got the power, yeah. but when they throw a punch, they don't want to overcommit in case they take a, a, a big counter shot. Mm -hmm. uh, I've said it before, if you're a big monster, yeah. you end up having to fight big monsters. That's that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, very true. But yeah, you see it. I mean, they, they are basically, um, they're not throwing so much, so many high kicks. Yeah. They keep it low and... I understand because they are they are heavy and uh, throwing a high kick. Uh, co yeah, it costs far more energy, of course. Well, well but they keep it so simple. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's okay. That's okay, but uh, don't dance. Get the job done, I suppose. Get but the job done, but do some more. I mean, it's not oh, box. I mean, I, I miss some boxing. I miss some boxing skills. Well, you you yeah, and I think that's where um, guys like you. You, you took the game to another level by, by making it, um, I don't know what the, how to say it, more exotic, more flash combinations that open people up. But one thing I'll say is your high kicks. Mm -hmm. I was watching some, some fights earlier mm -hmm. and you were stood upright Sometimes. and you threw a high kick from close range yeah. and knocked the guys out. Yeah. I mean, I don't get how I don't get how your hips work like that, and you get the power without leaning I'm back. A, I'm a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but it was outstanding. Yeah, I mean, it. I I had the feeling for that, and, uh, and like I said, they, these guys, I mean, they are heavyweight, but they are very sometimes maybe maybe a little bit too heavy or something. They 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 bring too much weight with them. Why they? They cannot yeah, produce. You, you they can have cannot power, produce. But they it takes don't have away extra the energy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's that's the difference with the 90s. The heavyweights in the 90s were far more light. Yeah, I mean, some of your early fights, you, you were. Uh, uh, what, 90 kilos off? My first K1, I was 84. 84 kilos. <laughs> there you go. So there we go, yeah. the end of the second round. And that was very, very close on the judges' scorecards, I would say. Yeah. Well. Yeah, although the, 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 the tempo is not that high, they keep on working. They keep working. They keep trying to see, to look for the openings and everything. But it's not that fast. No, but... I and there's plus 95, so I can understand. But still, uh, the guys don't they don't look that old, and it was a nice nice right hand. Um, I'm just wondering how to split it when you're uh, scoring it. Mm -hmm. um, do you think the cleaner work came from the Romanian in that round? Mm, yeah. Just but slightly. I think I think the the, the clean work the, in the whole fight came from the Romanian. Right. Yeah. So let's give that round 10-9 to the blue corner, which on my unverified, unofficial scorecard gives us a round apiece. Yeah, um, it's possible. Yeah. So third and possibly final round. Romania versus Montenegro. Florin Ivanu coming out fast in our final round. He's facing Miro, Miroslav Vujovic from Montenegro. Big guys here, over 95 kilograms. In fact, both of them around 110 at the weigh-ins. And who wants it the most? That they're going to show. That I hope they're going to show us that now to us. Who wants it the most? Yeah, we've told them. We've told these guys. If you, you we were talking earlier. You know, win uh -huh. a boring fight. You're not really going to be. We're not going to be interested in having your back. But no. lose an exciting fight. Fight like uh, exactly. You know, a man possessed, and you'll always be welcome back. Yeah. Yeah, that's how things work. I tried to tell people for years and years and years, everyone calls this the fight business. Yeah. But it's not the fight business, it's the entertainment, entertainment business. business. Yeah. And when they wake up and realize fight that. entertainment. Yeah. 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 And we want to be entertained. Yeah, pe people, um, maybe your close family want to see you win and the guys at your gym, but everyone else buying a ticket wants to be entertained. Yeah.
And if you want to be a superstar, mm -hmm. that's the main ingredient, isn't it? Well, you have to you have to have everything. I mean, good condition. Uh, and even I mean, there, in my days as a heavyweight, most of the time I had very good condition. Yeah. And uh, and then yeah, sometimes extra round. You have to fight an extra round. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, a thing. So. But you're never you were never scared of going to that extra round. No. If it happened, it happened. Let's go. If it happened, it happened. Yeah, yeah. If I'm scared, I, I if I'm scared, I cannot fight. Yeah. At all. I cannot be scared. But some people are paranoid. It's even, you know, so when you fight two-minute rounds yes. as a youngster and then you step up to three-minute rounds, people, mm -hmm. oh, my God, I've got to yeah. go an extra minute. Yeah. But it, it's all yeah. in the mind, isn't it? It's more in the mind, I think so. Oh. So Almost the Romanian the here coming forward, yeah. attacking in this third and final round. We're coming up to 30 seconds left. And the Montenegro fighter, Vujovic, looks tired. Yeah, yeah he's tired. He's only, only trying to grab. Oh, but he almost hit him with a nice hook. He's still got again. the power, yep. He's still got the power, exactly. Bit of blood coming from the front of his nose. He's looking down at the ground. Right. He's tired. The, the Romanian is pushing him away, coming oh, forward, and nice. that's going to win him the round, I feel. Nice uppercut. Ten seconds to go. Yeah. Sammy's going to split them up. You're not going to win anything by holding on. No. And the fight is over. Now I'm going to give that third and final round to Florin Inovayu. Yeah, uh, me too. Inovayu, 10-9, which is two rounds to one to the blue corner. Yes. However, as you said, Ernesto, there's the possibility of a fourth and final round. That could be possible. Um, I feel that if it does go to that fourth round, Florin Ivanoe from Romania is going to come out all would guns blazing. Would be in favor, I think so. Well, let's see. So let's see what the judges have to say. Semi Shield there. An extra round should be nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm not sure if they, uh, you, if they do, would like it. <laughs> do you feel sometimes in the old K1 days, mm -hmm. the judges, it, I think if you're clever uh -huh. as a judge uh -huh. and the fight is close uh -huh. and it's a big money fight, uh -huh. Give it an extra round for more entertainment. I'm not saying be unfair, but if it's that close, give the audience what they want to see. Yeah, if it's close, um, it works I'm like sure that. I'm sure that used to happen. But it can also be, uh, do, do, does the, the judge have some favorite? Well, yeah. That happens too. Oh. Ooh. That's bigger. Okay. 29 to 26 and 29 to 28 for a unanimous decision in the blue corner. We saw it. There we go. We saw it completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know um, what was happening there, but uh, well, I had it two rounds to one to the blue corner. The judges had it um, a little bit more in favor of the blue corner. Exactly. But I think that's a deserved victory. Yeah, um, I guess. If I was to be critical, yeah. and we are critical here, uh -huh. even though these guys are, it's world class, mm -hmm. but we just want to see them get better and better and better. Yeah. Both of those guys, if they go back and work on their conditioning, they could both come back absolutely lethal weapons. Well, I hope so, and uh, of course, uh it's also a money thing. Uh, do they are they full prof professional? 